Many fans among the WWE universe claim that WWE has been booking Rhea Ripley too strong for quite some time now. A Twitter pro wrestling user named Rhea All Day presented an argument against this claim and it is certainly a strong one. Check out this argument and let me know in the comments do you agree with it. First and foremost the only reason Rhea Ripley gets so many over pushed comments is because she beats everyone with ease. Well here's the thing Monday night raw during Rhea Ripley's title reign had almost zero main event level superstars that should actually be able to put up a great fight. She was going against mid card female talent and if you tell me she should have a match where she almost loses the title against someone like Zoe Stark, Ivy Nile, Shayna Baszler, Zelina Vega or Natalia you are delusional and insane. Rhea Ripley's first title defense was against Zelina Vega at Backlash. This was a glorified squash match which made complete sense because Rhea was coming off of beating arguably the goat of the women's division Charlotte Flair. Zelina had her strong moments and a hyped crowd in Puerto Rico. Rhea looked strong and unbeatable which was the clear goal and it worked out completely fine. Second title defense was against Natalia at Night of Champions. This match was definitely booked completely wrong. It was a 40 second squash match that didn't make any sense and it didn't help Rhea or Natalia. Her third title defense was against Natalia on Raw on July 3rd 2023. This match was booked very well and it made both Rhea and Natalia look amazing. The only problem was that Rhea had a harder match against the same person she squashed at the PLE a week prior. The fourth title defense was against Raquel Rodriguez at Payback. The match was sloppy, botches were made and the whole thing was slightly underwhelming. It should have been booked better. This was Rhea's only win by interference and this match could have been booked better. Fifth title defense against Raquel again on Raw. This was better, much much better. Both women looked very strong and Rhea ended up having the upper hand. Clean win, good match. Sixth title defense against Raquel, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark in a fatal five way match at WWE Crown Jewel absolutely great match with great technical abilities on show Rhea was not the center of attention all the time which was also very well executed and showed that the talents of everyone involved in the match seventh title defense was against Zoe Stark at Survivor Series this match was so weird because it was so clear that Zoe wasn't ready for a match with one of the best performers in the company The match was fine but at certain points it was just dragging and boring. Rhea's eighth title defense was against Ivy Nile at Raw Day 1. The storytelling on this match made no sense a newcomer getting a title shot without doing anything. Like what the hell? Even though the match was predictable, it was actually a very good match for a TV match especially. Her ninth title defense was against Nia Jax at Elimination Chamber Perth. Rhea was obviously main eventing a PLE in her home country so it made sense for a heel versus heel match where Rhea is more of a face during it very good match showed both of the performers strengths well and elevated both of them further 10th title defense was against Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 40 this match was an amazing opener to a WrestleMania star power was there technical ability on show was amazing both women had great sequences and there were some good near falls the whole thing was booked almost to perfection and what about rhea ripley's post return booking this is the thing most people moan about the most and in some instances they might be right liv morgan should not always be running around and away from rhea ripley it will make rhea look too dominant however rhea should still be booked as the stronger person that chases live from time to time and shows her strengths before the eventual match at bad blood so overall rhea ripley slightly over pushed not at all rhea is stronger but she shouldn't be unstoppable before their match because the finish of the eventual match would be pretty obvious it's not her fault obviously she is doing amazing just like live morgan but live should get stronger booking for the eventual matches that are to come what do you think is wwe over pushing rhea ripley let me know in the comments below